Here I am in the digital microscopy lab, little room of our lab. We have um, a couple computer stations that are set up with digital microscopes that can do light and dark field um, digital photography under the microscope and also um, fluorescence and uh, DIC, which we'll talk about later. And over here is an inverted microscope, which normally microscopes have a lens on top looking down at a specimen and a light shining through. But here, the lenses are on the bottom pointing upwards. The specimen goes there and the light's on top shining down. And so the image is captured. The light shines through here, through the stage and captured by the lens and it sort of channels that image up to the eyepiece and that's the digital camera attached here. And the beauty of this is that you can take a living specimen, which I'm going to do, um, and place it here. And this way your lenses don't run the risk of getting wet and touching the water sample on top, but they can get very close. And also a lot of the microorganisms will settle to the bottom of the dish, and that way uh, the lenses get very close to them and you get a very good view. So what I'm going to do is we have some seawater collected here from a reef. I'm going to unscrew that. Take this pipette, squeeze it a little bit, put it down near the sand. You don't want to suck up all the sand, but that's where a lot of the interesting things tend to be. It's right above it. So taking some sample there, and I will insert it into that culture dish. I already had a little bit in there, but I'm just adding. Okay, actually, we don't need to put a lid on it. We need to put this lid back on. So I don't knock it over by accident. Put this here. Go to our lowest setting. We always start with that first to get an overview. And let's have a look see. Let's see what we see. Oh, some grains of sand. Oh, lots of things swimming around in there. Turn that light down a little. Okay, so I have some creatures moving around, you can see. But, um, too far zoomed out, so what I'm going to try to do is switch this to, that was the 4X, let's go to 10X. Okay. I'm going to look in there. Right now, I'm doing this with a camera on the lens. This is not the best way to view things, right? It's a little hard to get the angle right in the lighting. Usually you would just use your own eyes. Or, you can go to our laptop. 